Okay, today we're going to talk about the pre-observation form for Domain 1 whenever a principal schedules an observation to come and see you in your classroom. Right now I've already logged into the system and this is my dashboard. I can see that I have some actions required. I can see that I have some actions in progress. For example, I have already completed my student learning objective for my individual and I'm just waiting for the administrator's acceptance. Once the administrator accepts that, that will say complete and it will go down here. I haven't turned in my district SLO yet. I'm probably just going to upload that as an attachment and send and then the administrator will accept. The SLO artifacts will probably stay here um, because you'll probably use this throughout the year. Again, if you have artifacts, you can put them in there. If not, you want to just share them face to face with the administrator, you can also do that. But I do see that I have a pre-observation form to complete and I can see that the pre-observation form um, has been scheduled and sent to me. I'm going to look at this schedule because there's probably a note in here and it says, okay, the administrator sent this out at 745 today and says to me, okay, could you complete this by Friday and we can meet Friday afternoon to discuss. Great. That gives me four days to complete this. I'm going to click accept. And now I can get to the pre-observation form. So I click right here. And up pops the pre-observation form. And I can fill in all of my answers right here. Through 1A through 1F. I can see my name is right here. Remember, I'm signed in as Review Teacher 1. I'm at the Washington County Test School. And I can complete with answers about question one. I can bullet this information. If I just want to use bulleted information, you know, how do, how do my plans demonstrate evidence? Well, here's how they do it. And I just go through and I just put bullets. You only have to complete this form once for every observation. You can write paragraphs. You can write bullets. You can write information. Um, this form is just really so that you can have a good quality conversation with your observer and discuss what they're going to be looking for whenever they come into your class and what your lesson planning looks like on, on the whole. You do not have to include every amount of information that you have ever known. Um, again, this form is just to help you with the conversation so that the principal or the evaluator can gather the information that they need in order to do a good job at looking at domain one. I can even add an artifact and you would go through and you can complete this. Right here and adding an artifact, I might add just call this artifact one and I'm going to upload something oh let's upload maybe I have some information I'm teaching a literacy class and I say you know what I want you to look at this the dyslexia PDF it's already has uploaded I click save and it has now uploaded. Now if you use bigger files um, it may take you longer to upload so you want to be careful how many files you include here and again only include the artifacts that it's necessary for a, an administrator to really um, look at and know about your planning. You do not have to include 10 artifacts. Ask your administrator what is it that you would like me to include? Would you like me to include a lesson plan? What is it that you would like me to see? I can click save. Maybe I'm right in the middle of something and I can click save. I can come back to this on my dashboard. I can click reset. If I say, oh, this is not what I wanted to include. I want to start over. I can click save and notify. I can send this to the uh, evaluator and say, is this what you want to see? Or I can click simply submit. And now this form is going to go to the evaluator. That means I can't make any changes until I sit down with the evaluator. And then changes can be made there. This form can always be changed. I'm going to hit save. It's archiving the form. And now, in progress, I'm now awaiting the administrator's acceptance. So again, the pre-observation form is not to take you um, years and years to complete. 
Simply put in the information that you need so that you can have a better discussion with the administrator about the classes that you're teaching and the planning that you're doing.